Welcome back to my channel, guys and girls, and everybody in between. You're sitting on a rainbow right now. Big old fluffy one. Now, it might have a little bit of fur on there, like Monsters, Inc. kind of fur, real soft and everything. And there's also going to be the monochromatic rainbow for the people that, you know, aren't too, you know, um... Uh, don't like color too much they just you know just want to sit on the edge and listen and see what we're all about that's fine you know or they might just like black and white like I do and you know be more uh, goth and like black stuff like you know that's my thing uh, I will fully admit it I am a goth I'm an old um, an older goth elder goth I've been called all kinds of stuff um, <laughs> some of them more colorful than others but um, yeah so welcome back so um let's see we have my wandering troll she moves around a little bit but this is my troll doll this is the uh chat room troll basically whenever that is up and running whenever i have that i just ask that people just be polite to one another if not my lovely little troll princess is going to eat you <laughs> oh i'm just kidding sort of yeah uh but i wanted to show you guys something anyway i got bored and uh, i was tired of not having a bag for this mic and this house is so dusty i don't know how it uh, happens but i will just clean something and within two days it's covered in copious amounts of dust i don't know how it happens but it drives me crazy so i grabbed some bits and pieces of fabric that i had and yes i hand sew um but i hand sewed a bag uh, as you can see it's a bit big but um so is my mic uh and it's all padded on the inside there's uh all that and then there's a ribbon uh set up so you can hang it on a door and in the front are two more ribbons that you can use to tie it up and that keeps it off the ground keeps it away from dirt and dust and i think it's really cool so i'm really happy right now that i have that and you know me and stuffies, I'm always, you know, I've always got more. So, um, a little owlet here, which is really cute. I love these. But I'm figuring out how to wear them in my hair, because I love wearing weird stuff in my hair. I can't help it. Um, and I figured out a long time ago how to do a little bit of surgery on stuffies. Um, and they always have a bean bag in them. If you take the bean bag out, they weigh almost nothing. And then you can, like, sew in little, uh, like, tabs on them if you want to and bobby pins are your best friend and then you can put them in your hair and have fun for those of us that are eccentric if you're not and you don't want to do that then don't you know that's my thing anyway uh you might like it you might not but getting to the topic um you know i i swear it's the funniest thing i've watched tv here and it took me a while to realize what was different but then I realized wait a minute where are all the ads for drugs there's always ads for pharmaceutical drugs thought I'd specify there we're not that um, I don't know what that would be anyway um, but no, I'm talking about uh, drugs like, you know, uh, Lipitor or Advair or, I don't know, uh, Topamax or, oh, let's see, any of the ones that you can think of that have made the news, um, maybe. Uh, the ones that if you know the name brand and you go talk to your GP, they look at you crosswise and go, what's that? I don't know that one. Because generally, I believe they deal with generics, which are great, you know, or they just don't deal with a name brand at all. I don't know how that works, but either way, in America, <clears throat> usually at about uh, any time of day or night, literally, uh, you will see advertisements come up for pharmaceutical drugs mostly uh, as far as like for mental health uh, you will see some for heart health uh, for your lungs uh, for bowel movements for uh, let's see migraine headaches antisocial behavior 
all kinds of remedies for all kinds of problems. It's almost like the snake oil salesmen from way back in the day have just become digital. And they just keep trying to sell you stuff. And they say it fixes all these problems. Um, but then, towards the end of each commercial, they speed read through all the side effects. And I mean, the side effects are horrific sometimes. You'll hear some that, you know, like, um, yes, I'm going to say this, anal leakage. Yeah, really. Um, and actually that was funny because that was one of the side effects of eating those, um, those potato chips that they had. I, we call, I know crisps, but over there, uh, but they had this, um, false oil in them or something that made them diet basically but they didn't tell you that when you ate them you should make sure you're very 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 close by your um, bathroom I don't need to go into details I know um, just imagine people weren't eating those for very long once they realized the you know association they're like I don't like that idea and I don't blame them but I mean it's everywhere everywhere you will see advertisements on the television, of course, but then you'll also see the advertisements on, like, um, you know, the magazines or, uh, gosh, there's so many. Um, you'll see them when you go just anywhere, go for a walk, uh, and you will see these advertisements. And it, it, it's, uh, it's just a lot to take in. Uh, basically, what they're saying is that most Americans honestly watch over nine hours of prescription medicine ads on the tele. I'm sorry, not nine ads, uh, nine hours, nine ads uh, of prescription medicines on the television per day, which total about 16 hours worth of this per year. And uh, you'll have to forgive me for that mix up. I'm sorry, but that's quite a lot of time spent. And if you have any friends over there, ask them if they know the name of any prescription medication. And ask them about this. They'll tell you. They will tell you all about the ads that they have on television talking about all kinds of drugs. I mean, you know, and the idea is that you go to your doctor and you ask about it. And then, of course, they make money. But this is one thing that they really don't tell you. They're creating like this demand for these drugs by basically just like drowning the, the media in advertisement for their drugs. They're spending so many like, I'm guessing millions of dollars, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars, I'm betting. And then what that does, though, unfortunately, is that it increases the um, the price of the medication, ultimately. So you're left with, um, yeah, you have a new pill, but it costs them so much money to advertise for it that by the time it gets to you, it's prohibitively expensive, even more so, you know, because I've gone over how expensive it is at the, um, at the pharmacy, right? Well, you know... It doesn't have to be that expensive but because of advertising that is a factor in addition to and we all know how expensive advertising is on TV radio billboards magazines anywhere and everywhere they can sell their stuff they will um, uh, American magazines will have advertisements for uh, Cymbalta and Zoloft and all of it it's all in there uh, and it's really kind of um, it's too much there's way too much advertising because you'll have like you have advertising from churches online on on the TV in like certain magazines um, newspapers on the radio you'll have that but you also will have the pharmaceutical medication but then you'll also have fast food infomercials televangelists it's all like this mm, like amalgamation of like religion, fast food, and drugs. And it just doesn't let up. It's every single day of your life. You turn that box on, you turn the radio on, you're near one, you're going to hear it. 
and it just doesn't stop. Um, and you know, it's, it's kind of, like I said, it's invasive. It drives me, it used to drive me nuts because I, I eventually would stop listening to the radio. I would turn the TV off and I would just like listen to YouTube music or something, or, you know, I would watch movies, but you know, I would get a subscription to Netflix. And so I didn't have to deal with commercials. Uh, but I mean, there's just, there's so many of them that are on there. Um, and they actually found that I believe it was 28% of the people that watched the advertisements, uh, ended up going to the doctor and asking them about the drug and about 12% left with the prescription. And I don't see how that's justifying, you know, spending all that money on advertising just to get that kind of a, you know, you know, like profit, like 12% profit. I, I, mm, I kind of doubt that, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just imagine, you know, you're watching a movie and the ads come on and all of a sudden you have an actor playing a doctor telling you all about the latest medications, um, like, you know, for your heart, for instance. And, you know, maybe if you're in the wrong mindset, it might make you anxious, you know, or you might've just come out of like, um, uh, like the cardiac unit or something, which isn't unbelievable considering, you know, I've been in and out of one myself. Uh, and I didn't think that was going to happen to me until I was much older. But, um, you know, if you're in the right mindset, that can be very stressful. And then, you know, I think it kind of, I think when you listen to those ads, they can kind of persuade you sometimes that, oh, well, maybe I have this problem, you know, and like, you know, you'll end up going into the doctor and asking about it. It's just a, like a theory that I have, but, um, I don't know. It's just, it's not a very well society. Okay. Um, and I think advertisers are not helping. They're really not, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I admit some infomercials are entertaining. Um, and the home shopping network is very entertaining. Just hide your credit cards because some of the things they're really good salespeople, honestly. And some of the things I've seen on there, they're momentarily, I'm going, you know, that's kind of cool. And then I slap my hand and I go, you know, no, don't do that. Don't let them, you know, don't let them get you. Cause I don't, <laughs> I, I don't exactly have throwaway money. Um, maybe in five years, you know, if I get a big enough fan base, maybe I'll have a little bit of money, you know, that'd be kind of cool. And then I could get more stuffies and, um, I could get a, you know, a sofa that isn't broken. <laughs> maybe, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Cause I've been fixing my own problems lately. So it's okay. You know, like we needed a body pillow, a uh, pillowcase. And so, um, I took two pillowcases that we had that were missing the outer, oh, what do they call that? The, um, Oxford pillows, pillowcases. So I took two regular ones. And, uh, I, like, I cut one and I hemmed them neatly, sewed them together, and I made a giant body pillow, uh, pillowcase, and it came out great. So we didn't have to buy a new one. Uh, just, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, gosh, I hope you guys are having a really good day today. It looks like it's going to be really nice, actually. Um, and I hope that you are you know, still being safe. Uh, and you know, I look, I get it. I know masks suck. I get it. But, and, and I have asthma, childhood asthma. I've got all this stuff and I know you hear me harping on this, but guys, girls, everybody, please go get vaccinated, please. I've had both, you know, and yeah, it hurt a little and yeah, I felt a little sick, uh, but look, I, please go get vaccinated. I beg you, please. And, you know, wear your mask because you can't really tell who is being responsible and who isn't. So it's better to just you be responsible, you know, and keep your distance. And you really trusting other people that takes time, trusting people in the public that you don't know. Yeah, it's better to just trust yourself in that regard, honestly. And uh, so, yeah, I only say these things because I'd like you guys to stick around and I'd like to see you next week. So yeah, I, uh, 
I've had a lot of really great conversations with a bunch of you. So, uh, yeah, keep commenting. I, I look forward to, to talking to you about this and, uh, you know, like any questions you might have, please ask me. Um, I'm, I'm like really interested. I mean, have you guys ever had, uh, drugs advertised on television here or on the telly? I love that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've ever had that. Cause I've, I've never seen it. Uh, and I know that um, America really is run by the pharmaceutical uh, industry. I mean, our health care is for profit and it's known to be for profit. Uh, and I don't really remember when that happened, but uh, I'm, I'm digging into it. I will find out more info, but until then, just enjoy the information that I'm going to send you and this and... Ah, yeah, hopefully we can chat about it. All right, if you're LGBTQ, again, welcome, safe space here. I love you guys. Please subscribe, you know, add the little, you know, bell so you get out all the stuff that I put out. Uh, I'm trying not to be so sporadic, uh, but again, you know, I've got fibromyalgia, so, and a few other things. So it's a little hard for me to be on a steady schedule but I do try to keep content coming and yeah so hopefully this will make up for it all right take care Mwah.